Yo, what's up, what's up, family? Um, back to give you guys a recap of week 43, man. Look, we almost done with the year, man. I appreciate y'all. Before we even jump into the conversation today, please like. Look, a lot of people y'all watching, but I need y'all to share and like this stuff because it's people who needs to hear this. So if it's beneficial for you, like it. If it's good for you, share with somebody. Be a blessing to somebody else. Plant that seed. Allow them to come and get some more spiritual food. So this week is week 43. It's focused on quality time, man. We just had a great, great, great conversation, man. God is so good. I'm so thankful. We had a larger group talking today, just again, talking about the importance of spending quality time with God. And um, as you all know, we talked about just the understanding of quality time in itself and understanding what that is in a relationship. And so we talked about a few different things. Like it's important when you're you're getting to know somebody, you're dating them. It's like, okay, I want to get to know that person. I want to know what their childhood was. I want to know what their goals are. Or I want to know everything about them. And then we talked about that dopamine phase where when you're in that dating phase, you're just happy. You're on the phone all night. You're texting. You just want to know everything about that person. And now take that same concept that we have with our relationships that we have and we prioritize in our lives and relate that to our relationship with God. Like, we should want to know everything about God. And the beautiful thing about it is that we're never going to know everything. So that allows us to have a lifetime of just discovering more and more about God. And the beautiful thing about the relationship with God is that we will learn more about ourselves through a relationship with Him. He will let us know who we are, what our purpose is, what our gifts, our talents are. Sometimes you might already know these things, but when you just build that bond and that rapport with our father, it's just like, wow, we really understand, you know, the sacrifice of Jesus dying across for our sins. We really understand our comforter, the Holy Spirit. We understand it. Now we truly can tie it back to our everyday life and the things that we're doing day over day and why we are doing it. And now we're only going to know that through spending quality time with God. So it's important for us to spend that quality time in the scripture that we focused on for this week was John chapter 15, verse 5. So I'm going to read it to you guys. It's, um, yes, I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who remain in me and I in them uh, will produce much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. So this is, again, talking about a quality time. God is telling us that you can do, <laughs> all, you can bear a lot of fruit with me, but if you break away from me, which is the vine, you are fruitless. You're not going to produce anything in your life. Nothing worth having, nothing that's going to continue to keep coming back more and more because you're not connected to the source. And so someone else brought up another scripture as well was Jeremiah 17, chapter 17, verses 7 through 8, talking about when you're planting, when a tree is planted next to a river. You, your trees, your, your leaves always green. You don't have to worry about a drought in any type of season because you are connected to the source. And it's important for us to do that. The only way we're going to be able to reach those fruitful seasons of our life is that we have to continuously stay connected to God and spending quality time with him. And so some of the other things that we talked about, what, what, what we will get from God when we are spending quality time with him is that we'll, we'll understand discernment. We will um, we'll do everything in the right order. We'll have prioritization to the things in our life by putting God number one. And when we put God number one, everything else falls into order because we have the right order. Um, and then some of the other things that we talked about as well, and I feel like it's a, a, a great thing, is like we end up, we get peace. We get the peace, the peace that surpasses all understanding, that we know that because our quality time that we spend with God, we don't worry about the things that we used to worry about. Or even sometimes, again, you could be in the faith and you still worry, but you catch yourself and say, why am I worrying? God brought me through the last situation. He bring me through this situation. So sometimes we just need that reminder. We need that encouragement, that inspiration, that spiritual inspiration to bring us back to reality to be like, yo, you tripping. God did it before. Why is he not going to do it now? He loves us. We are his children. There's nothing that he's going to withhold from us, but we also have to do our part by making sure we stay connected. Staying connected means that we are following the path, the the we are properly representing Christ every single day with the things that we're doing. Does that mean we're going to be perfect? No. We are going to have shortcomings. We all fall short of the glory, but we, that means we have to go through the process of repenting, turning away from the things that cause us to go down that negative path. And someone brought up on the call as well, putting up those barriers. Putting up the things like those barriers to say, okay, if this is a place that causes me to sin, is this a 
people, group of people, a person, um, or just activities that you do in your hobby. Okay, we need to remove those things, put barriers up, and then also receive God's grace because you are in the progress of shedding off those things that are your former self. You have to die to those things. We have to like essentially carry our cross every single day. We have to cut off our flesh every single day because there's things desires that we have from the past current desires things that will come in the future future desires that are not aligned with god we have to recognize them call them out rebuke them and just say like yo god this is not it i don't want it i don't know where this came from but i need you to help me with taking this from my heart taking the desire from my mind i don't want it and then that's where we have to get into the word we gotta read we gotta do these things of spending quality time prayer reading fasting fellowshipping with conversations like we have like this bro in our devotional club, it allows us to come together to learn best practices and um, of what other people are doing in the body of Christ to be better, to progress every single day. So um, that was the focus this week was on quality time. Uh, like I said, man, I was so excited. It was just beautiful, man. Just hearing um, just people talk about God. I just love it. I love talking about it myself, but I could just do it all day. And if you know the channel, you know that's all I'm talking about is God. But we just, it's a beautiful thing when you have a group of people come together because the Bible says when two or three are gathered that he's there in the midst. And man, we had probably about eight, nine people on that call, man. Like, come on, man. You can't make this up. Like, this is God. And I even want to take it a step further because if you still hear me listen to this, like, I promise you, we're in week 43. This started in January 2024, the first week. And I remember God telling me to do this. And I was like, man, nobody going to sign up. No one going to do this. And going through that process and putting myself out there to see, okay, even if it's one or two people, that's the people who God want me to bless, I'm going to do it. And um, only a few people were showing up. And then throughout the time, we had more people and then some people left. But I say all that to say, like, it's just a beautiful thing when you when you just follow through what God's telling you to do because lives are being changed. People are listening to this on, on, on YouTube, different countries, people I don't know, and they're being blessed by it. But the only way that they were able to hear this is if you, if I was obedient to what God called me to do with starting this up. So just want to just say again, man, thank you guys for tuning. If something that God put in your heart, make sure that you do it. You never know whose life is dependent on it. And I hope that y'all have a great day. To God be the glory. Peace.